Welcome back to Given Chances Farm, and today we are going to teach you how to do the second row on crocheting. So, if you didn't watch the first video, we're going to link that down below, and I'm also going to show you again how to do the slip knot and so first you take either your thumb or your first finger and you wrap and you wrap it around then you take two fingers go through take this part of the string part of the yarn that is attached to the ball and you pull it through just like that then you grab your needle, stick it through, hold it like this, but if you're a left person, you hold it like this. <laughs> I'm just comfortable to you. So then you're just going to take it and wrap it around this way, and then pull it through, and then just do that several times. So, I'm just gonna finish my row real quick. My chain real quick. Okay. So there's my chain. And now what you have to do is you have to take it and once again like you're crocheting, like you're doing your chaining, you take it and you loop it around, but this time you're going to stick it into the closest pole. So in this case, see it's not it's not this hole, because see the yarn is in this hole. So it would be this hole. So you stick it in that hole and then you twist the yarn around once again. And then when you're done you'll have three little loops on it, see, just like that, and then what you want to do is you want to take it like this, wrap it again. You can come up here and get closer if you, see, three loops, take it around, and then this time you have to pull it through. So see, that starts another one. So then you wrap it again, pull it through. Oh, I should say push the, so push the needle through the hole, wrap it around, pull it through, three of them. Then you wrap it around and pull it through all three. And see after the second one, now it starts forming into kind of a little circle at the end. So then you just keep doing that. See? Till the end of the row. So just let me get down to the end of the row. Because the end of the row is very different from the beginning of the row. Mm -hmm. You have to add one more step in before you can begin the process again. So now that we have the row finished, see, now what you have to do is you, so you have this loop here, twist it around and pull it through. Now you are able to turn it around like this. So see, it was like this before. Now you twist it over and then repeat the same step as you did before just see loop it push it through grab the yarn pull it through pull it through all three there you go
and depending on whether or not um, how long it is um, and different types of yarn like if you use the furry baby blanket yarn you could make scarves this one's for an adult and this one's for an adult or a kid and tell them what you plan on doing with all these scarves that you make. Um, or at least a few of the ones that you've been making here recently. Most of them that I've been making, they're going to the homeless shelter. Well, it's not a homeless shelter. It's some of the homeless people that um, live downtown Indianapolis. Um, there's a, a coffee shop in Cicero that the owners they take all these supplies whether it be like toothpaste or um, body wash or deodorant or bottles of water or whatever the case may be but they end up taking all that down downtown they know a certain area where they know all the homeless people stay and um, sometimes they re um, take donations of like backpacks so they can put some of the stuff those supplies in them and so Michaela and I have been crocheting um, scarves all through the year so far and we plan on doing it until November? Uh, like December. No, no, I think it's November when those, the owner of the coffee shop ends up taking, um, I think either the weekend or whatever day it may be, but they go downtown and pass out all those supplies to the homeless people. So, um, and also what you can also do with it, but do not make yarnkins because they're my little toys, but you can, um, make little tiny plushies out of them, like this fuzzy yarnkins and this slingy that you can... <laughs> So make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified for any new upcoming videos. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.